this month is Suicide Prevention Month, and tragically, our nation's veterans are at a higher risk for suicide compared to the general population. Yeah, the VA and the Ad Council released its new public service announcement for their ongoing national campaign. It's called Don't Wait, Reach Out. Here to tell us more about it, we have Dr. Matthew Miller, the Director of Suicide Prevention and a veteran himself. Uh, thank you for your service to our country, and thank you for talking about this with us today. Thanks for that. Yeah, suicide is a challenging, difficult topic uh, to meet head on. I appreciate you being willing to do so. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, Dr. Miller, talk about why it's important for veterans to reach out for help if they're struggling. Well, we know that uh, prevention can make a significant difference, not waiting until a situation is an emergency, a crisis, not waiting until our back is against the wall and there's strong emotions and we feel like there's few options. Of course, in situations like that, veterans have a lot of options like the Veterans Crisis Line by dialing 988 and pressing one, by going to a local emergency department by going to a local VA and asking to be seen. But there's also something to be said about reaching out for resources ahead of time before a situation reaches that point. That's the whole purpose and message of our Don't Wait, Reach Out campaign available through va.gov slash reach. Mm -hmm. Talk a little more about how this research really inspired this new campaign. It's veteran based. It mm -hmm. starts with the veteran and asking the veteran, what's, what's the message? What do veterans need to hear regarding suicide prevention? A big aspect of the feedback we received was tell veterans from veterans it's okay to ask for help. It pays off. It's a good thing to do. From there, veterans taught us about uh, who the messenger should be and how the messages should be delivered. From that, you see two new public service announcements that are uh, being uh, rolled out this month for Suicide Prevention Month and are available to see at va.gov slash reach. What about the common stresses that veterans are facing in everyday civilian life? Yeah, I like how you said common stressors. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Financial problems, career issues, uh, relationship problems. Um, uh, medical issues or challenges. Uh, life can bring changes. You know, you just talked about college and planning for college and all the surprises that can come with that and debunking myths. Things like that are where reaching out ahead of time and early can be really beneficial to avoid more distress or emergency in the future. At va.gov slash reach, we've really tried to pair up certain situations like financial problems with exact resources that can help veterans and those who care about veterans. How can we all help and get involved? Where would we encourage veterans to reach out to? What resources are available? Everyone has a role to play in starting with uh, everyone going to va.gov slash reach and checking out resources for family members and for community members. You'll see a toolkit for community that focuses on resources that are available to help take care of veterans and veteran families in your community. I think that's a great starting point would be really appreciated. Great. Well, Dr. Miller, thanks so much for sharing this today with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah.